draw my life. As you guys know, I tell a lot of stories about my tragic love life, but today we're switching it up and I'm going to be telling you about my tragic first day of high school. Overall, I'd say I had a pretty good high school experience, but the first day was definitely rough and ended in me hysterically crying. So if you want to hear why that happened, keep watching. So as a lot of you know, I grew up going to a private Christian school and although the school was kindergarten through to grade 12, it was very small with under 200 students. I grew up in this little bubble where I was surrounded by the same people who all had the same views and we all took the same classes. I was never challenged or put out of my comfort zone in any way. Which is why in 10th grade, I made the decision to switch to public school. I knew I wanted to experience a normal high school life and my parents thought it would be a good idea too. Where I live, high school is 9th grade through to 12th grade, but I made the switch during second semester of grade 10. Which definitely made things harder because although it was the first day of high school for me, it wasn't the first day for anybody else. The night before my first day, I barely slept. I remember waking up that first day and being so, so nervous. I'm pretty sure I took over an hour to pick out my outfit and then another hour on top of that to do my hair and makeup. Instead of making me take the bus, my mom agreed to drive me for the first few days, which was a huge relief because my old school didn't have a bus so that was a whole nother thing I was gonna get to stress about later. I had no idea what to expect going into high school or even public school in general. It was definitely a lot different than my old school. There was so many people and the school was so big, there was way more diversity, and it was all a bit overwhelming. There were a couple people in my homeroom class that I kind of knew, a girl I used to go to church with and a boy who used to go to my old school with me but switched a couple years earlier. A few people noticed I was new and introduced themselves to me, but for the most part, nobody really cared. When the first bell rang, it was time to go to my first class, and I had to get my books out of my locker. And that is when I discovered I sucked at opening locks. At my old school, nobody had locks on their lockers, but at this school, you had to. I tried over and over again to open my lock, but I couldn't, so I ended up having to ask someone passing by to help me out. They, of course, opened it with no issues. I literally don't know what was wrong with me, but by the time I got my books out, I was already late for my first class. I was beyond nervous to begin with, so the fact that I was late for my very first class of my very first day of high school just made things so much worse. When I walked in, everyone was looking at me and the teacher asked for my name. Then she told the whole class that I was new, which I don't know, it just kind of made me feel uncomfortable. Nobody talked to me. I didn't talk to anyone the entire class. When the bell rang, I headed back to my locker to switch books, but of course I could not open it. So luckily a teacher was there to help me out. I switched books as quickly as I could. Then I ran through the hallways because I was not about to be late for my second class. In high school, I was such an introvert, I was very very shy, and I just never wanted to be the center of attention, so walking into an unfamiliar environment late and having everyone look at me was literally my worst nightmare. So luckily, I made it to my second class in time, and when I got there, I looked around and realized once again, I knew absolutely nobody, and nobody knew me. After class, I bolted back to my locker and did it all over again for my next class. After third period, it was time for lunch. I had two friends at the school, and we made plans to have lunch together, but we never picked a place to meet. I wandered the cafeteria alone looking for them, as well as frantically texting and calling them, but getting no reply back. I felt like everyone in the cafeteria was judging me for being alone at lunch, so I headed to the bathroom and I ate my lunch in one of the bathroom stalls. That's when I knew I hated high school. When I was done eating my lunch, I called my friends from my old school and started bawling my eyes out about how awful it was here. They calmed me down a bit, then I just sat in the bathroom stall and waited for lunch to be over. About 10 minutes before fourth period was supposed to start, one of my friends finally texted me back and told me they were having lunch in class A109. So I went there and sat with my friends for the remainder of lunch. They helped me open my locker, then I headed to my fourth period class, and for the first time all day, somebody actually talked to me. Let's call him John. I could tell right away he was the class clown. He started asking me a bunch of questions about myself, but since I was shy, I gave him very short answers. For some reason, he seemed to take an interest in me and walked me to my next class, which was really, really nice. Before dropping me off, he invited me to a party, which probably doesn't sound like a big deal, but to me, it was. I had never been invited to a real high school party before, and even though I had no intentions of actually going. You better believe I told all my friends from my old school that I got invited to a high school party. However, getting invited to that party was the only good thing that had come out of my first day. As soon as my fifth and final class was over, I ran to the back where my mom was waiting in the car to pick me up. The second I was inside and the door closed, I started bawling my eyes out and told her 
I wasn't going back. I told her about how I couldn't open my locker, how I was late for my very first class, nobody talked to me, I couldn't find my friends at lunch so I hid in the bathroom stall for over an hour, and just how out of place I felt. It seemed like everyone around me had these big groups of friends and everyone else was laughing and enjoying themselves while I was quietly standing there waiting for someone to notice me. My mom definitely felt bad, but she wasn't about to let me give up that easily. She made a deal with me that I had to give my new school a chance for two weeks, and if at the end of the two weeks I still wanted to switch back, I could. The next morning, I cried again and begged my mom just to drop me off at my old school. Although my second day still wasn't great, it was a little better than the day before, and my third day was a little better than that. I slowly started to get to know some people in my classes, got the hang of using my lock, and was no longer eating my lunch in the bathroom stall. By the end of the two weeks, I made the decision to stay. Now looking back, I can say switching schools was 100% for the best. My new school challenged me and exposed me to things I was sheltered from, it gave me more freedom to figure out who I wanted to be, and although I was never popular, I did make some really great friends. Overall, I had a pretty good high school experience, so I think the lesson from all this is that even if your first day sucks, like mine did, in the end, it really doesn't matter. And most of you are really lucky because unlike me, your first day of high school is probably going to be the first day for a lot of other people, and I promise you, those people are just as nervous as you are. So that was my drama life on my first day of high school. I'm sorry, it was kind of short, I know. I know you guys like them long and detailed, but don't worry, long and detailed story times are coming. This was just kind of a short story that I wanted to share with you guys. Also, if you're not subscribed already, be sure to do so because we're almost at 1 million. We're like less than 10,000 away and I'm very, very excited. And if you're not following me on Instagram, be sure to do so. I know a lot of you guys aren't because we're almost at 1 million on here, but we're not almost at 1 million on Instagram. So, you know, not sure why you guys aren't following me. That's kind of rude, but you should follow me if you aren't already. I love you guys so much, and if you are going into your first year of high school, I promise you're going to be okay no matter what happens, so don't stress about it. I believe in you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!